Central Tree. Today we're going to be discussing the difference between the Denise Seamoff 180D and the Denise Seamoff 150D forestry mulchers. The first thing I'm going to get into is the difference of width between these two models. The 180D is coming in at 189 centimeters of working width. That would be 74 inches wide. Or we have the 150D coming in at 150 centimeters of working width, which would be 59 inches wide. The next that everyone is always asking questions on is, are these hydraulic motors the same? Or are they different? Is it just the width? Or is there other differences? Well, there's a few more differences. The hydraulic motors on these units are different. They can work on both skid steers, but to compare the two, the 180 is coming in at 115 cc hydraulic motor. The 150 is 85 cc hydraulic motor. The next difference we could discuss would be the weight between these two models. So we have the 150 coming in at 2,300 pounds, and we have the 180 coming in at approximately 3,000 pounds of weight. Uh, the next is I will get into the hydraulic hoses. Both units will come with the same quick couplers, which are three quarter inch quick couplers on your return and supply. They both will have a case drain that is typical size for any high flow skid steer on the market. But the difference is, is that the diameter of the return and supply hoses are different. On the 150, the hoses actually have a three-quarter inner diameter where the 180 has a one-inch inner diameter hose. So you see there's a quarter-inch difference in the diameter of hoses between these two units. Uh, also, I'd like to discuss uh, the teeth, okay? They run the same teeth, the same holders, the same setup. The difference is, is that the 180 being wider, it has 27 teeth and the 150 has 21 teeth. Also, uh, getting into these, everyone says, well, which one should I use for my skid steer? Well, they're both great models for skid steers. It just depends on your application and what you're looking to do. So the first thing I'd like to discuss is with a 150, uh, the 150, I'm sorry, here's our 150. Our 150 actually will spool up quicker but it's not going to hang into that wood as long with that little bit smaller motor, but it, it will rip like a banshee when it, she needs to spool up. When you get to the 180, it's going to hang in that bigger wood a little longer before it starts to bog down because that rotor's got a little bit more inertia, which will just chew its way through that log or that big wood a little bit more. Um, but you're also going to have a little bit longer spool up time to get back to spooling up. Um, the, the difference also is, is this is going to go back to preference now, the width. Um, let's go back to the 150. The 150 usually will hang right within the width of your tracks on a typical skid steer. So when you're trying to uh, do some mulching between trees and thinning, this unit is going to be able to sneak between those trees a little better, hence the width uh, being within the width of your tracks on your skid steer. The 180 you're going to notice that we stick out a little bit more here uh, with this motor because it's obviously the larger motor, so it means it's going to be a little wider. It's going to stick out a little more. There might be a little more chances of you bumping into a tree or stuff like that. Um, again, my company, we've owned both of these. We run both of these. Uh, when I get out to uh, jobs where I'm actually in the woods, I cannot, you know, bump into trees. I have to preserve trees. I like to stick with the 150 because I'm able to sneak between those trees. I can get into tighter areas. It means less hand cutting. With the 180, if I'm running in a wide open area, a brush, I like the 180 just because I have a little bit more oomph and I have a little bit more inertia 
to power my way through stuff. But at the same time, I just have that little bit more cutting width, which at the end of a eight hour, 10 hour day, just gets that much more done. So again, this is up to preference, but either of these can be ran on your skid steer, uh, obviously high flow, of course. Um, when you end up with the higher range of skid steers, like a Caterpillar 299 or an ASV 120, most guys are choosing a 180 just because we got a little more horsepower, we have a little more flow, they could put a little more power to the bigger unit. If you're running the smaller units that you're not sure if you're right on the edge of running a forestry mulcher, but you still have high flow, I would recommend sticking with a 150. It's a little lighter on the front end of the machine and it'll spool up a little quicker on you, even if you have a little bit less flow than those larger horsepower skid steers with that bigger flow. Uh, besides that, um, your push bars are the same. Uh, the hose lengths are going to be the same and your couplers or the, uh, the skid steer mounts on the back are the same. Also between the two units now, you will see that there is this hole that has been drilled in on each side of these, uh, the steel gussets here. We also offer a optional spring kit. Some skid steers require it, some don't. Some people like it, some people don't. That's personal preference. But as these hoses are on your skid steer, uh, if you don't like them, rubbing down over here, you'd like to hold them up, you have two different positions that you can add a spring and a carabiner, which we do offer. Uh, just give us a call and we can give you some pricing. Um, also, the other thing I'd like to talk about between these two units is, see what other difference we have. Uh, mostly we're just, we're, we're back to the weight again. And what do you want to be lifting all day? You want to be a little lighter, a little heavier. Uh, like I said, we're 2,300 pounds on a 150, we're 3,000 pounds on a 180. So you're talking, uh, you know, you have a little bit of a difference in weight there. Um, so when you're, you're looking at uh, lifting up that head a little bit more and you have a nose weight on that skid steer, this one's going to have a little more nose weight on your tracks. This one will be uh, helping that nose weight a little better if you're in soft conditions. Uh, besides that, uh, they all take the same knives, the bolts, the nuts, and the washers. And uh, that is pretty much the difference between the two. We, we're really just talking, we have width difference, weight difference, hydraulic motor difference, and we have hose diameter difference. Uh, besides that, everything else is pretty much the same. And... Uh, if you have any other further questions, uh, we'd be glad to answer them or have a discussion with you. Uh, if you'd like a, a, a quote on either one of these units, uh, we have a few more in stock, but they're going quick. Uh, again, uh, this is Matt over at Central Tree. You can reach us at 847-989-9048, or you can email us at office at centraltree.net. Thanks for listening. Have a good day. Oh, oh, oh.